In right triangle ABC shown below, point D is on segment AB and point E is on segment CB such that AC is parallel to DE. So AC here is parallel to DE. And they didn't write this in the description, but they did indicate this on the diagram. We have a right angle there, so therefore this angle over here should also be a right angle. Okay, if AB is equal to 15, so AB, this entire segment, is 15. BC is 12. And EC is equal to 7. What is the length of BD? Okay, so because we have a pair of parallel lines here, um, and those angles are, are um, those right angles are congruent to each um, to each other, the two triangles, triangle uh, DEB, will be similar to triangle ACB. And how do I know that? Well, that's because we have the two right angles, those two corresponding right angles are congruent, and both triangles are sharing angle B. So these two are going to be similar because of angle-angle theorem. And because these two triangles are similar, we can then set up proportions to find the length of BD, which I'm going to call X here. So the length of BD, that's the hypotenuse, over the larger hypotenuse, which is 15, will equal to the length of EB, the length of EB here is going to equal to 5 because 7 plus 5 gives me 12, right? So this ratio, x over 15, will hold for the other corresponding legs. So EB, which has a length of 5, it corresponds with the length of 12. So now I can solve for x. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 15. So I get 15 times 5 over 12. Rather than multiplying 15 and 5 together, I notice that there's a common factor between 12 and 15, and that's a common factor of 3. So this will be 5 times 5 over 4. So that's 25 fourths. And that is also equivalent to 6 and 1 fourth, or 6.25. And that is option 2.